Hello Dinosaur, so today we have a box of new sea animal toys So let's take a look at all of this, okay? So let's open this up Okay, first we have a Genghis River Dolphin So check this out This is actually a um, figure from Collecte It looks really cute So you guys can see the jaw the mouth is actually really pointed so I think this mouth for, um, of the Genghis River Dolphin is really really useful for catching its prey so let's put this over here next up let's take a look at what is this okay it seems like we have a starfish right over here so let's take a look at this it's a beautiful starfish from Safari LTD so let's have a look at this you can see there are one two three four five five tentacles and you can see this is really nicely detailed so this it's a um, sea creature so it looks really really beautiful next up what is this we have a small little it looks like a whale so let's take a look at the name written right below this is actually a southern right whale wow looks really really cool I'm gonna place this over here okay and next what is this? This looks like a huge dolphin. So let's open this up and have a look. All right. So this is a huge dolphin, I guess. But let's take a look at the species of this um, dolphin. It is known as the Blainville's Big Whale. Okay, it is not a dolphin. It is actually a whale. Okay, so let's remove this. Okay, you can see this, it's a very very interesting looking wheel right over here with plenty of spots So once again, this is known as the Blainville's Big Wheel, okay? A figure from Collecte from 2016 Let's take a look at this one right here, it looks like we have a shark So let's open this up but what type of shark is this? We shall find out. Okay, this is actually a Mako shark. So this Mako shark is actually much smaller in size than a great white shark, for sure. So let's remove this. This is another beautiful figure from Collecte. So you can take a look at this, a Mako shark. Looks really, really beautiful. Put this over here, and let's take a look at this one. This one, it's huge. This one is huge. Okay, let's open this up. This is nicely wrapped. So, let's remove this cardboard. I think this is to protect the face. Wow, take a look at this. This is a really interesting... Um, it's a narwhal. Yes, it's a narwhal. You can see it has a very long spike. And I guess this spike can be used to um, defend itself from predators. Now will. I'm not too sure whether the spike is supposed to be so long. Okay, so if you guys know, do comment down below. And next up, we have a penguin right here. But what type of penguin is this? This is just written as little penguin. It looks so cute. It could be, could this be an emperor penguin chick? I am not sure, so I'll place this over here. Let's take a look at this. What about this one? This one looks really, really adorable. This is an Australian sea lion. Wow, looks really adorable. Okay, I'll place this over here. And we have another one, which should be a macaroni penguin, or oh, it's a rock hopper penguin. So let's open this up. So we have different types of penguins right over here. So this is actually known as a rock hopper penguin. You can actually see this in um, Happy Feet, the different breed of um, penguin. Love this little orange feathers around the face. Okay, place this over here. Let's take a look at this. What is this? Could this be a bottlenose dolphin? Let's take a look. So this is just written as a dolphin, but I guess this could be a bottlenose dolphin. They're really intelligent um, animals. Next up, we have another rock hopper penguin. 
Seems like we have two of them. Two of them. Another rock hopper penguin. It's really adorable. I'm trying to release it. You know, but let's cut this loose. Yeah, there you go. So let's do a comparison. You can see this has the the, the wings, you know, open out right. And um, this it could be a male one and this could be a female one, I'm not too sure. Okay. What about this? This is a manta ray. I've actually seen a manta ray before. They look really, really magnificent. Manta ray, a figure from Safari LTD. So let's take a look. So you can see it has a very flat surface and the surface, the texture feels really smooth. Yep, this is a manta ray. Looks really, really interesting. You can see the shape. So it swims by just flipping, you know, this little flaps or this little flippers, okay? Just gliding along the bottom of the sea. Next up, looks like we have a zebra shark. Is this a zebra shark? Let's take a look. It's written right here. Yep, it is a zebra shark. Okay, you can see it has very nice patterns across the entire body with plenty of spots. So this is a zebra shark, a figure from um, Collecte. I think this is one of my very few zebra shark figures. And we have a bird right here. Is this a pelican? Let's take a look. Yep, this is a pelican. Not exactly a sea animal, but they can be found, you know, near the seas, of course. So you can see beautiful black and white feathers. It's a long beak, which allows it to, you know, just catch fishes. Yep, looks really cute and adorable. Next up, what is this? Wow, so cute. We have a polar bear cup, okay? The young of a polar bear is actually known as a cup. So let's open this up. Wow, this is hard to open. So adorable. Take a look at how adorable this is. So we have a polar bear cup. So you can see, it looks really, really adorable with the tongue sticking out. And you guys know that, you know, the fur of a polar bear, they are actually transparent. They do look like, like white, but they are actually transparent, translucent. Okay. Next up, what do we have over here? Bottle nose dolphin calf. So this is a young bottle nose dolphin. So let's open this up. Get this up in the box. So this is a young bottlenose dolphin. Okay. So bottlenose dolphin, they are actually very friendly towards humans. Yeah, that's right. So take a look at this. It looks so incredible. It looks so beautiful and magnificent. I think we are just left with a few more um, sea animals. So let's take a look at this. What do we what do we have here? It looks like we have a box fish. Yes, it looks really cute. And if you take a look at the shape of this sea animal, you can tell, you know, it really looks like a box, which is why it's known as a box fish. Alright? Looks so adorable as well. Place this over here. We are just left with one last figure. And it seems like we have another dolphin. So this dolphin, it could be, yeah, it's, this is an emperor penguin, so let's open this up. Emperor penguin is actually the largest species of penguins around. Okay, so there you go, an emperor penguin. So these are the different sea animals I've purchased. I'll be making more, you know, sea animal videos um, really soon. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe. If, if you haven't do so, I'll be uploading more of animal videos on Dan Safari, so stay tuned for that guys, okay? So if, if I were to pick one of my most favorite figures from this video, I am going to choose the Navel, because it looks really interesting. What about you guys? Please let me know down below, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.